Well, welcome to the course conclusion for 7501 Airline Management. This is the synopsis lecture. As I say each time, for reference and study purposes, you should use a full lecture and look at the balloons, don't they look lovely? Lecture 13, course review and feedback. What's the lecture scope? Oh, I'll read this one. I talk, you talk, I talk, then I sleep. So that's the plan. First, let's have a look at what the course aim was from the course profile that we talked about back in lecture one. The course aim is to provide an insight into all management areas of the aviation business so that future managers have a broad perspective in a growing, competitive and increasingly globalised industry. So that's the task that we were set and these were the specific learning objectives for you as a student and that was to demonstrate the knowledge or demonstrate knowledge on the management principles and concepts that apply to the airline industry, apply these principles and concepts to the contemporary industry, analyse the performance of specific operators and critically determine those areas that lead to commercial success and failure. The learning approach that we spoke about in the first lecture was for you to at the postgraduate level to demonstrate that you understand the theory by applying it and some educators call this evidence-based learning and so in Bloom's taxonomy we were more interested in the areas of the top areas of the pyramid uh, of evaluation synthesis and analysis. Pete the polka dancing pilot in the full lectures uh, uh, is seen more frequently but again it was to remind me that uh, your learning journey should be fun for you and not just hard work. Some of the learning resources that you should have used during the lectures uh, include these as follows. I hope that you've used the set texts effectively. We've had a weekly discussion about the airline industry and some of the events that have unfolded uh, as the semester has progressed. And again, that's part of our uh, learning experience. You've submitted two mini papers that we talked about in the first lecture that were 30%. Uh, the uh, topics were advised on learning at Griffith. There was set criteria and marking for them. And I've provided individual feedback to you uh, as uh, the semester has progressed. And collective feedback will be given in the full uh, lecture 13. The major assignment, 30% of the mark the 3,000 word assignment uh, and uh, that uh, would have uh, been submitted by you by now and marked. And again this published criteria and marking as is required by the university for any assessed item. Uh, individual has been provided and collective feedback will be provided in the uh, formal lecture 13. The end of semester exam, uh, the last assessment uh, item for you, the, uh, the next challenge, worth 40% of the mark. And again, uh, it's a closed book exam, uh, 10 minute perusal time, and it's a multi-choice format. Let's have a look, and I wish you the best of luck with the exam too, by the way. So let's have a look at the course, what we've covered uh, over the 13 weeks. Uh, we've had a course introduction We've looked at the management space. We've looked at decision making and communications, interpersonal skills and delegation, personal ethics and social responsibility, organisational design, human resource management and industrial relations, change management and quality management, analytical tools and enterprise risk management, managing the airline business, auditing everything we do marketing, business and the consumer, and now the course conclusion. So it's been a very, very busy walk through a lot of different aspects of management theory. And as I would have said to you more than once, that the whole course is designed to give you the flavor of some of these areas of the, of, of the theory, uh, rather than giving you detailed knowledge in one or two of them. You'll find as you progress through your career that you'll often think back to this lecture and some of the uh, foundation material that's provided to uh, assist you in your decision making or your understanding of the situation. Uh, in the lecture I'll ask you uh, about your views on the various uh, subject areas that we've covered and whether you believe there's any other areas in your readings that may be appropriate for us to look at in future years. 
This will be a chance for you as a student to provide verbal feedback uh, and I ask during the last presentation to send in email for those that are online students to send in email thoughts uh, but even for those that are here in the room more than happy to accept email uh, emails from you with some feedback in it. Feedback is good. Feedback is what helps us uh, build the course uh, for uh, the next uh, years that come along. My closing comments, I'd just like to thank you, uh, and I will in the formal lecture at length, but thank you for your attention over these 13 synopsis lectures. They have been uh, interesting from my perspective. I have tried to cover a lot of the learning points uh, to assist you, uh, but also to give you a flavour of my uh, love and passion for the aviation industry. So thank you very much for your attendance. Uh, it is now the end and it's time for that sleep that I mentioned at the beginning. Good night.